okay we'll begin this tutorial in Creo 4.0 how to create a, a rectangular block with hole and uh, using a sketch basic tutorial so here are the steps first thing is click new create part and use the default template and keep the name for now the default make sure that the sub type is solid create ok ok then you'll see this window the right the top the front they will be highlighted as you move along these principal planes so use these and let's say the front view let's pick that front view it's already highlighted let's create a sketch click sketch and make it normal to yourself so that you see the orthogonal view now use lines for now I'll use lines to create a rectangle so left click drag the mouse it's a vertical constraint is applied if you want to if you don't want the vertical just move to the extreme direction and pick so I'll pick one point I'll drag the mouse uh, another location I will snap to this location and back to the original position and middle click and middle click again you will get a rectangle left click hold and drag so that the dimensions are uh, <coughs> visible not on the boundary now you can do double click for now for example change to dimension to 100 let's say change this dimension to 60 okay so we are done now let me add some chamfer here so what I'm gonna do is I create uh, a fillet a circular arc you can add circular arc between this and this okay so it change to different dimension if you zoom now double click this arc if it doesn't work middle click now double click the that dimension let's say make it 20 so now I made the arc 20 mm, let me do the same thing here uh, go to the fillet circular select this point and then pick another point and zoom this region middle mouse now after you click middle mouse you can change the dimension let's say different 30 damn it uh, radius okay now unequal but that's fine for now uh, so I created this now what I'm gonna do is extrude this object okay I click OK first and this is my sketch okay. you can edit right click and if you stay keep the mouse here it says edit definition you can go back and edit whatever size we have already created okay now select the sketch and extrude it and this is the option for extrusion option that you can make keep the mouse here for a while so it says extrude as solid this icon and if you move to this one it says extrude as a surface if you don't want that uh, that thickness so and these are options so for now it's already this is selected already and we give the depth here 50 60 80 so now if you left click and drag you can see that the extrusion the depth direction can be controlled by clicking this toggle or else you can also drag 
and this handler as you see this also changed the depth so let's say if I want 200 keep 200 okay and then here is from that sketch plane you see extrude both sides half of it or you can extrude to selected point or curve that uh, is if you have another feature but for now I have the blind extrude at specified depth okay so and then I check mark so I made my part okay now I can select and remove this portion to make let's say let me make extrusion cut okay zoom now let's say if I want to cut a portion from this what I will do is you can you can design or model your system in different ways for now I'll select it's green I'll hit sketch so it's green so and then uh, the sketching plane as you see it is asking me to plot on this plane so all that I do is I'll make it orthogonal to myself now I will draw line now I'll draw line from this point vertical down and I'll make another arc like three point arc I pick this point and I pick another point here and then let's say I pick another point so three points arc okay I sketch now let me draw a line this to this point okay now you can define dimension by double clicking and 50 let's say uh, it, let's say I can this dimension the arc dimension is 40 um, refining to desired okay and this one is let's say 50 okay and then now it took this reference or if I don't want that reference I can define from here so dimension all that you do is pick this reference and pick this point and keep left click so let's say I want this hundred okay middle mouse and you can drag the point so pretty much we have defined the curve where they will be located the center the vertical this point this one and let's define tangent constraint so that these lines are tangent they are touching but they are not tangent so how do you add that constraint you pick this is a see tangent say tangent make two entities so I will pick I'll pick this one I'll pick this one says dimension it's already because it's coincident vertical dimension is given so that's why it is giving error so instead I will delete one of the dimension maybe the radius okay I will delete that that means select that delete okay now it applied the tangency constraint okay and then I will, up, I will do the same thing here so tangency constraint is already selected if I click that if I click this is vertical change to another constraint so here is tangent now pick this line and pick this line so tangent again so there are multiple constraints that are applied here error so delete
but it's already tangent this one and this select this the highlight it says error resolve the highlighted five constraint conflict select one to delete or convert so <coughs> we need to delete one of them horizontal or vertical constraint so let me delete one constraint and uh, the vertical constraint is deleted it's tangent this dimension is given so okay now what I'm gonna do is select this sketch and extrude cut extrude cut but it has to be defined boundary region so uh, I need to define this region it should be closed okay and remove so I need to define another line okay yes what you do is right click edit add one line from here to this middle mouse okay we have this region now so okay select that region and extrude okay if you want composite region you can add this way if you want to cut a portion you do remove and then you give the direction to the opposite okay here now the depth is here so you if you want more you can do this watch okay so that means now we made this portion okay so we made some structure now let's make a hole here similar to what we discuss today so then select this plane then let me draw a hole use this toolbar it will create a default hole so what you do is basically there are drag handlers this one this is a black one and there is another one that you give select for example this is a handler it will pick this surface reference and you pick this one select the top surface so it took this dimension to give where the hole is to be okay later on you can change it the other thing is this hole you can shrink you can drag it okay this control the whole dimension let's say let me make 20 millimeter for now let me give this dimension from the top plane let's say 40 okay it's and let me give this dimension from the center here let's say 50 it's too much so I'll make this to 20 it's not centered uh, so in order to make centered I need to write equation so I'll zoom this now uh, uh, tools relations no Okay, the hole first. Okay, let me make that. Now I will define the equations now. Once I make the hole, tools, relations. Okay. Now select these. I see these widths, the width of the uh, rectangle is this one, D2. But this one, when I pick it, it says uh, D 
to 1 so I'll pick d to 1 is equal to this divided by 2 okay and then refresh so and I need to click OK and control G to regenerate so this ensures that the circle is always centered along this one okay now you can go back to this hole edit definition then you can make them through hole entirely the hole you can make the hole to be completely through this entire by selecting this so that makes the hole drilled so one good tutorial that shows extrude extrude cut hole chamfer and fillet okay that's it you select the planes you can just get rid of the planes so that and these uh, icons so that will be uh, you can shade regions or you can just shade them no hidden lines or you can do uh, with with this option okay this is another option I'll stop here okay make sure to save your file and wherever you have in a selected directory okay